Hello Dodgers Nation, welcome back to our Los Angeles Dodgers news channel. If you're new here I ask all of you to subscribe to our channel and leave your like so you don't miss any of the next updates and news from the best baseball club. Now, let's cut to the chase. The Dodgers starting rotation situation is not looking good, my friends. As you know, pitching has been a headache for our beloved team this year. And this is an indisputable fact. For decades, the Dodgers have been synonymous with stability and reliability, but unfortunately, we now find ourselves only ranked 22nd in the MLB when it comes to Team ERA, with a 4.51 mark. The recent loss to the Cincinnati Reds was a heavy blow, with starting pitcher Michael Grove giving up eight runs in just six innings. And the problems don't stop there. The rotation has been plagued by injuries, with Julio Urias recovering from a groin injury and struggling to get back to top form. In addition, Clayton Kershaw also struggled with shoulder pain in the midst of a great individual campaign. And to complicate matters further, we had to rely on newcomers like Bobby Miller and Emmett Sheehan to make up the rotation. It's not easy. But calm down, let's not be discouraged. Our dear coach Dave Roberts is aware of this and makes no secret of his dissatisfaction with the current state of the rotation. He is a true warrior and is looking for solutions to improve the team's performance. And hey, there's good news. We are attentive to the market and we will not stop looking for improvements. We recently acquired Lance Lynn from the Chicago White Sox, and we still have other prospects in the pipeline, such as Jack Flaherty from the St. Louis Cardinals and Mitch Keller of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's get reinforcements to ensure our success in the season and playoffs. Friends, this is crucial. Our lineup has proven powerful, averaging nearly six runs a game. But we know that there will be days when we will depend a lot on our rotation and we can't risk falling behind in the final stretch. Let's support the team, give all our support and play our part. If our coach says the situation is not sustainable, it's time to wake up and act. Our management is also aware of this and is working hard to resolve this issue. So I urge all of you ardent Dodgers fans to stay tuned, cheer hard and help us spread the positive energy. Comment what you think of this news, share your opinions and suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay on top of everything that happens to our team. We are stronger together, and I am certain that with the support of the entire Blue Nation, the Dodgers will overcome these obstacles and shine once more.